there. No. Thanks for coming. Sure. Uh, help yourself to a drink. Scotch rocks, please. So, any chance this is a social encounter? I, I'm not sure that I follow. What, you asked me for a drink as opposed to barging into my office, threatening legal action? Uh, that's because you had threatened my daughter so that she wouldn't get her P.I.'s license. It was my understanding she didn't have the proper qualifications. Well, as it turns out, she didn't. Uh, but that's not why I called you here. After our first encounter, you have an attraction you can no longer deny. I, I'm, I'm going to pretend that you didn't just say that. Or worse, mean that. And if I did? Y you'd be flirting with me. Maybe just a little? Uh, let me explain this to you as delicately as I can. Um, I have a gift for attracting deranged men. My last relationship was with a card-carrying sociopath, so um, I, I just advise you to not even feign being attracted to me because then I would have to assume that you're a lunatic, and right now I need you to be this really sane, reasonable, level-headed Fed agent who's going to help me with a big, big favor. <laughs> what kind of favor? I need you to use all the resources available to you to investigate this woman, Rebecca Amber Shaw. She once lived in Opal City, Washington. She's now residing in Fort Charles. I need you to find everything you can about her. Look over everything with a fine-tooth comb. If you see anything su suspicious at all, let me know. And then keep it off the books. You don't ask for much, do you? I realize this is an unorthodox request. First you imply that I'm a latent psychopath, and then you ask me to violate all kinds of... I said you could be a psychopath. There's a big difference. Mm. I'm counting on you to be a very level-headed, trustworthy agent. And if I do what you want, I'm neither. Here's the deal. There's this woman, Rebecca Amber Shaw, who looks identical to my nephew's dead fiance. Her name's Emily Quartermain. To try to follow this. Emily lived in Port Charles, worked at General Hospital, dated my nephew. This Rebecca shows up looking identical to Emily. Poor Charles works at General Hospital, dating my nephew. Now, this whole thing is really weird, really creepy, and I think this Rebecca has some agenda going, and I think she's somehow connected to my stepmother. Stepmother? Helena Cassadine. Look her up. It's a very interesting reading. In any case, I think Helena hired her, gave her plastic surgery, told her how to act in front of Nicholas, and sent her after him like a heat-seeking missile. Why? Because he has control of over $10 billion. Now you say that's the first thing you've said to me that makes any sense whatsoever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So here's what I think. I think that you should check into Rebecca Shaw's records. Check everything. Her childhood, see if she has any juvie records. Maybe there's something she's trying to cover up. And assuming I find something, what are you going to do with it? I will go straight to Nicholas and hope that he will cut Rebecca out of his life to stop her from getting whatever she came here for.